Hey everyone, welcome to another unboxing video I have here for you today. Um, this is the Cloner Alliance Box Pro. And if you hear some noise in the background, that is the TV downstairs now. So, I ordered this on Amazon. It in total cost, I think everything everything's on sale now. It just happened to be Cyber Monday, which I did not know. So fortunately, I ordered it. I think the original price for this was around like $179. This is the 1080 version, not the 4K. And with taxes and everything, tax is ridiculous. It came out to like, oh, a little over $200, around $206 or something like that. But I have to look at receipt. But this is the Cloner Lions Box Pro. This is a recording device that allows you to record... I mean, through television, HD, HDMI, HD television, and it, rela it allows like recording gameplay videos, right? So I specifically got it for gameplay videos. Now, I was actually researching between this and the clear click um, game capture card device. But I went with this because of all the extra capabilities that are possible with this thing. Like, you know, I have tons of like VHS tapes myself from like the freaking nineties. And so a lot of people are using these to like convert, you know, VHS, uh, VCR tapes and stuff like that, like over to like HD quality or at least like, so you can put on CDs or HD or just download, you know, media wise, just on the computer. So Based on the reviews, that seems to be the way that most people are buying this or looking into it. But this specifically does not say it's used for recording games. But it is possible. Like I saw a video, some guy plugged it into his Roku device. I've never used a Roku device, but I, I saw that. So that's pretty cool. Like you can, anything that connects like HDMI to HDMI, it's into the bag. HDMI inputs. You can connect this to anything and record basically. Whereas the clear click or even this here can't do that. And this here <laughs> is the terrible AGP Tech. AGP Tech HD video capture. Uh, it's for capturing games and stuff. This is what I've been using since 2020 for my Dragon Ball Z Kakarot videos, my Demon Slayer Hinokami Chronicle videos, um, Jump Force, Crash Bandicoot, uh, One Punch Man game I did, um, Donkey Kong Country 4, you know, with Tropical Freeze and all that. So, I mean, it's moving the camera because I'm trying to, I hate when the screen goes off like that. But basically, if you, I, if you look at my previous review of, I think it was the Aver Media. It was called the Aver Media Plus 2, which supposedly that records 4K. I never got, it never worked for me, so I returned it. So that's what happened with that one, in case anyone was curious. I could not get the SD card slot to work, at least on my Windows 7 laptop. Right, it was from like 2018, 2017. It's already freaking outdated. So, I could not get it to work at all. I just got frustrated. I returned it. And so, I'm sure it works. It was brand new, but the, it just wasn't gonna work at all on my computer. So I just said, screw it. And I continued using this. But until recently, I recorded Two matches from Demon Slayer Hunter Comic Chronicles, which I'm going to do again. I recorded Doki versus Gyotaro, and then Gyotaro versus Doki. And I checked on my USB flash drive after recording with this thing. And for the first time ever, there was no file at all. Not even a corrupted file. So it just re it recorded nothing. And I said, okay, that's it. So let's get into unboxing this. All right. I usually do tear up boxes, so I do see tape here. Let me make sure first. Yeah, there's tape all around. I'm telling you, like, if you look at my past ones, I always treat it. looks like you can peel here, though. 
But yeah, I mean, I'm really hoping that this works, man. Because Need for Speed Unbound is coming. That's why I really was like, man, I ordered this yesterday and it's it's here already today. So it got up pretty fast through Amazon. I just did the Express, you know, and got it. Because Need for Speed Unbound is coming out this Friday. And it's Tuesday now. So that's why I wanted to order it. Now, I like this. It's not, it's not tape, whatever this is. And it comes off really easy. It's sticky like tape, but it's not. That's pretty nice. But yeah, I'm just hoping that this actually does work compared to that. That AGP tape is... Like, if you look at my previous unboxing that I did for the Aver Media, I actually put examples of this, this strange software here. Of the um, AGP Tech. Look at the, my review that I did on the Aver Media Plus 2. Well, really not even a review. It was just my unboxing. So I didn't really get to like. Actually use it correctly. But I actually put a few examples. From uh, Demon Slayer gameplay. And also from DBZ Kakarot. About like. How basically like. It will corrupt data. So. That's the other problem with these devices. I'm hoping it doesn't happen on this one, but unfortunately, I did see reviews. If I can ever get this thing off here, let me use a little boss card just to. I don't want to tear it up. I'm going to get it up a little bit. Like, that's the other thing about reviews on Amazon is like I never know how to choose, and that's why it takes me so long. Because I look at all these negative reviews. Which is sort of annoying. So it's like I don't really know what to choose from. Like this had negative reviews. The clear click had negative reviews. So what did I do? I went to YouTube. To see like people's examples of their videos. That they upload of gameplay. And show how they set it up. That's what I did. Rather than looking at Amazon reviews. And both the clear click. And this device seem to be working good on people's YouTube videos. So if anything is wrong with this. I'll just return it. But I don't think anything will be wrong with it. So yeah. It looks similar to all the other boxes that I've been ordering from. Yeah. There you go. So. Oh, this is the adapter that fell. That's like some box. That's all that is. And instruction booklet. I guess I'll read later. If I'm not mistaken, like, yeah, so. You know, the in plug. Let me pull it out here. One well, says it right here. So. So, and that's the other reason I got this. Is for the PC free mode. Specifically, I'm looking for something that's PC free. Because my laptop is not good enough to like connect through one of these devices and record. It's just not going to work. It's not powerful enough. And I don't have a personal like game or work computer yet. I have my job computer. But I don't want to use my job computer for like personal game stuff too much, you know. So that's not my computer. So I, I use it for like. If I need to compress videos and stuff like basic editing, but that's about it. Everything else I leave to work. So here it is. This is it. So hopefully you can see it. Clone Alliance Box Pro. It's about the same size. It's a little bigger. It's more square. Yeah, like... Literally the same size in terms of, I guess, length. Because this is length. But then it's about just as bad. Yeah, it's like a big square, basically. So, so this is the end. Hope you can see it. You got two PC right here. MMI in, second. This is the end. HDMI in right there, HDMI out. 
this right here maybe for microphone oh no there's more on the side i don't know what that is this is the microphone line so this is the mic and then you got your line in here and your line out storage right here so this is what i'll be using the pc free mode for what i understand is like uh and i'm going to test it out later man i'll put up some videos of gameplay or whatever but i think it's supposed to hold it down and then it'll switch between 720p or 1080p i think it gets up to 60 frames per second which is cool because this one did not i never had 60 frames per second on this even though my i just have base ps4 so i don't think i have 60 frames per second anyway on that model and the Nintendo Switch, I don't think, has uh, 60 frames per second anyway. But there you go. Hopefully you can see it. Could have turned some more light, but it may drown it out. Let's see. So. Yeah. Pretty much it there. Got some cables. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, they're serious about this thing. Because this is the way I grew up with these was like... Because I still have Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast. This is what like Nintendo 64 used back in the day. You know, the white, the yellow, and the red cables. Don't know what the green is. So yeah, it would be like video and audio and stuff like that. Got a blue one. And this here... But this seems like, yeah, this would go more into a computer or something there. But I'm not worried about all that right there. But no, okay, this is an HMI. No, this is the MMI cable. Yeah, so this is for all that. This is all the old school stuff. If you're looking for transferring... Uh, Transferring media files between like VHS and all that. I think this is what this cable is. Which I'm probably going to leave it wrapped up. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. So I do know there's a remote control here. That you can use to like stop and record. And hope you can see it. Make sure my camera. So here it is. I'm not going to really take it out of the package right now. Yeah so it records up here in the top left. So, yeah, comes with, a little con comes with a little controller and everything, man. That's nice. This is the HDMI cable that they give you. Which I already have some sparrows, but this is this is nice, actually. I wouldn't mind having an extra one. So now, I won't, honestly, I won't have to use my Nintendo Switch one. I would think I was using that. Plus the one that came for this. So now I have, like, an extra one. There you go. And that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, so my other, like I said, my other cables are around in the room. So if I'm not mistaken, basically I'm going to plug HDMI in right here. I could be wrong about this. That goes into my PlayStation 4 with this cable. And then the other cable, HDMI that I use will go from the out into my television i could be wrong about that i always get mixed up in the order it sounds correct but i'm not sure but then i'm gonna press you know, i'm gonna have the storage in there but i have to turn it on here i think now there's no on off button but here's the record stop button there's a source and a snapshot now there's no on off button i think from what i understand it comes on automatically and then you press that to record or press this to record and stop as well. It's a little weird. I'll figure it out though. And uh, I just want to mainly do an unboxing here. I'm not going to really be showing what it can do with like recording actual television. I want to show, I'm going to show specifically for gameplay right now. Since that's all, I have, that's all the time I have right now is just gameplay only right now and uh maybe in the future i'll record something from tv supposedly i did see a video where someone recorded something from netflix 
and it actually worked. So it can record copyrighted material, but then you have to be cautious about what you upload on YouTube or anywhere else. But just for your personal reasons, if you need to record, you can watch it over and over. This device can do all that. So there you go. If you survived this far in the video, thanks for watching it. Uh, stay tuned, and I may upload a uh, just a gameplay sample video. Uh, from the switch or my ps4 30 frames per second again this is not the 4k version this is only 1080p or 720p so 1920 by 1080p basically is what i'm going for on this like honestly the 4k's like you're not going to get much out of the 4k's anyway that's why i didn't buy the 4k i don't have 4k tv right now mine is broke so i got a lot that i'm ordering in the next month or two New TV, everything, new computer. So, again, thanks for watching. If you made it this far in the video, consider subscribing, like the video, share it around. Um, and again, may upload some gameplay here. Well, who knows what I do here. So, <laughs> anyway, till next time, see ya. Okay, so I'm recording gameplay right now. I'm on Nintendo Switch, playing Bayonetta, just testing it out. I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't, but for whatever reason, I had to adjust the brightness on this thing. I don't know what's going on, really. Um, I've been adjusting brightness, contrast, like, there's a brown tint. The Clone Alliance creates a brown tint on the TV, and it seems like I, I'm trying to figure out well, how to get rid of it. So mostly changing the brightness has fixed it, but I'm going to look online and see if there is anything else that I'm missing, because I'm not sure. So far, that's the only thing I don't like. It did record, but I don't like that I'm having to change my, uh, you know, visual settings, you know, the picture on the TV. But it creates a brown tint. That's all I can really tell you about that. The other device, the bad one I was using for since 2020... It, it left it black, but this one, like if your screen's black, you'll notice a red, brown, tannish color, a tint, and I don't know what's going on or how to fix it yet. I'm going to look online and see if anyone else has this issue with this device. But the device does work, but that's the one thing I don't like. It's a little weird. Um, But yeah, I'm going to continue on. I'm doing gameplay right now. All right. Hurts to review the basics of breaking heads. Just don't fuck the place up too bad. I. <laughs>
Uh, so I can't seem to win trying out this new device here, but basically now it's giving me a QR code to go here. I tried to use it on the PS4 and I get this message. What's interesting though is that when I load up on the, on the Switch, it did work, but I got the tan screen that I was talking about, that brown tan screen. When I load the PS4, like it'll work for a second. Like I try to switch over source and go back and then it'll watch it'll come on. And then it goes straight to that. Oh, something went wrong. Hopefully I don't have to contact them tomorrow and hope I can figure this out right now. It's 1035. I was hoping this would be working by Friday, man. It's like I'm always so busy, I don't have time to like really mess around with it, but man. So now I have to figure out how to fix this on the PS4. Hopefully there's something easy online I can find really quick. I'll let you know if I find a solution. All right, stay tuned. But this is PS4. It's just not working on the PS4 at all. It's like it's blocked or something, but okay. Okay, so I went online. I did find a page here for Ooh Something Wrong. Like, immediately I found it. Scroll down. This is what I'm saying. And so what they're saying is we have this issue. If it says Ooh Something Wrong, it's saying I have to go and hold the source button, basically, and then it'll restart. So, let me do that real quick. Let's test it out. So here's the source button right up there up front. So what they're saying is, is just to hold it. It's doing something. Looks like it restarted or something. And there it goes. So issue resolved. Pretty simple, just hold. I did see something about this online before I purchased it, but yeah. Just hold down the source bo button and it'll come back on. So there you go. Let me test my recording now. Okay, so I'm looking at the video right now on my computer after putting the USB drive. I'm using the USB flash drive stick that I have here. And the tan that I'm seeing on television actually doesn't show up on the file itself. That's good. This is black. I don't know if you can see it right now, but it's black compared to the TV over there. That's still that reddish tan color. I don't know why I changed it that color. I don't like that. Especially if I want to enjoy the game myself. Like, I'm glad it doesn't show up that way after recording. Uh, it looks pretty normal after recording. It's, it's sort of blackish here. So I feel like I could adjust the settings a little bit there. But the TV is just red. With this device. Maybe I'll look up and find something. So, But apparently that's not an issue. It's an issue for the TV itself, but it, the recordings won't show up that way. So, I guess you can sort of ignore what I was saying about that reddish brown tan color. But it's, it's a little annoying when playing the game. It's like I want to see the actual game color. Um, and also about the volume, I noticed that my voice was a little low. So, if I'm not mistaken, there's a way. I think using the controller, which I need to put batteries in. I think using the controller, I can turn up my voice there's a controller that came with the clone alliance device i think i can turn up my voice with it but i'll do more research if not oh well you know i still need a new recording device so let me continue so i'm playing the game right now and i could almost swear that there's lag in this compared to the um agp tech device and this sucks man because i did not like the agp tech device I was hoping this was gonna be much better it feels like I'm almost playing online. I don't know. I haven't played this game online, but I played online games, obviously. There's some sort of lag delay going on here. As I'm playing it. Uh, wow. It's probably not going to pick up even if I record. So when I do some full matches with this later, maybe you'll see it. Like, it, it was almost, I was like, whoa. The combos I normally do is like, I can hardly pull them off. Just the basic little combos in this game. But it's like so delayed that some of the stuff wouldn't come out there. So I'll continue here. Maybe I'll adjust to it. Hopefully 
there's a fix for that. But I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's because it's then recorded 60 frames per second. But I have base model PS4, which I don't think has 60 FPS anyway. But my videos come out 60 frames per second, which is interesting. So, but stay tuned. Or this could be the last clip, not sure. Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, the Hinokami Chronicles. Okay, so I found something new up here. Probably can't see it. There is an online manual um, for this device. In fact, the entire manual is online. So I do see, like if I go down, there is a settings. And look what I found. So under system settings there, it looks like there's a way to change Im image setting. So what I'm guessing here is that that reddish tan that I'm saying could be resolved in here. Um, rather than changing on my television itself. So I may try to find the black screen again and adjust it. Because the black screen was really good. It was a good point to adjust it all. And... I may be able to use that screen to sort of adjust it in here. So I'm going to have to plug in the controller. And I'm not even sure how to get to these settings yet. Because I can't find it on the controller. Itself. But I was also looking here to see if there's a way to change the 30 frame per second. I don't think there is. I don't think 60 FPS is good on the base PS4. I think it's causing it to lag up. There is lag in the game. I'm not even kidding. So, uh, that's a con so far on the base model PS4. I have a 1920 by 1080p television and, uh, pretty sure my TV 60 frames per second. My 4K TV's broke though, so I need to get a new one, but this TV should just be fine for this without any lag. But there is lag using this device. So, if you want to play online, I'm not sure about using this device. Even just playing offline, I'm not sure yet. So, what is that? I uh, show information. Oh, there's a main menu. Okay, it's a main menu. So, maybe that's where I'll find the settings. Maybe I can adjust the brightness and all that. Probably off screen. So for now, it's like device is good enough to record like Need for Speed, but 
I really don't like that lag. Maybe I need to change bit rate. Because I'm really not sure how to fix There's lag in it. I wish I could change it 30 frames per second, but I don't see an option. It's not like the 4K version would have been better because it would have been even more insane. More frames per second or something, so. We're not really in 4K. Probably lower frame per second on these devices. But anyway, that's the update. Just wanted to show you that there is an online manual that I found. So. Let's see what I can do with my settings. Cool. Okay. I fixed the reddish tan. Um. So on the controller here, there's the home button. I guess I have to aim it at the device. Home button. And the top is already on the top. And then I can just like press right. All I did was on the settings on the controller. I changed the contrast to 38. Default was like between 45 and 50. It was high. I don't know if it's up. Let's see, I'm at 38. But the higher I go, there's that reddish. That's where it's at. That's the red I was talking about. Right? So the higher I go, there's red and redder and then whitish. I just, I went down like two, I think. 38 and boom. Now it looks normal. I changed the brightness to like 40. I think. Um, there you go. So, I didn't see any options. I changed this. I set the time in for me. Uh, for the time zone that I'm at. And also, I don't see any way to change it. I changed bit rate to high. I don't really know. I may change to low. I'm not really an expert on bit rate and all that. But what I didn't like in the actual gameplay. So maybe this will be my final review here then. What I don't like, my thoughts was, uh, so far there seems to be lag. Right? So you pretty much, you can't turn this thing on and get started because... Just right away, you're going to have to go in and adjust, like I did here, the the um, the contrast here in the city. But you have to use the controller. It takes um, AAA batteries here, a little tiny batteries, and or the double and triple, I'm not sure, the tiny skinny ones. But you're going to have to go in and change the contrast like I did here on the controller. I just did brightness 40. Contrast 38. So, trust me, you're going to want to do that because that red screen was annoying. Because the first thing you're going to notice is like, what's up with the screen? So all that right there is, is resolved. I set my time there. So I like those things. Well, you, well, I don't like it, but once it's resolved, it's fixed. Another thing I didn't like is to get the PS4 started, you have to hold down the source button. But that's how you fix that. I put that in the video. Hold down the source button, and it'll restart, and then the pills forward. So, it's true, I looked it up, like on the controller it says mic up and down. There's actually an option in here, on the, I found it, where like, oops, home. There's action option on the screen here too. Yeah, so you have HD volume. You know, mic volume, line in, line out. So, unfortunately, the mic volume... Watch this. Listen. This is on 60, and there's a static noise. So, I'm going to have to leave it to the default 30. But there's arrows on here. You press up and down arrows, it does say mic up, mic down. So, I press this to go up, and this to go down. I think when I'm in gameplay. Uh, maybe I'll press it up like five times and, and test that out later or something like that. But I think that's going to be it for now. Um, like I said, I recorded my, I'm going to record a test video though here. Um, with the new settings of the Demon Slayer and the Comic Chronicles here. And then I'll upload some actual gameplay. It's 11.24 at night though. It's like I'm always working. So, but there, um, not sure if this is the end, but. If it is, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like the video, subscribe, share it around. Till the next videos, man. Stay tuned for Need for Speed. See ya.